The creators of Throne Room Reviews would like to say that this is a fan-made show. We do not own any of the copyrighted material used within the episode. All copyrighted material belongs to their respected owners. Any copyright infringement is non-intentional. This message has been brought to you by Plan 12 Entertainment. Hello my friends and welcome to Throne Room Reviews. Uh, remember Proteus from the Magic Lamp? Most of us didn't. But Sharon Miller, three seasons after introducing him, decided to follow up on her creation. Sort of. Today's episode is Mountain Marble. Like the Magic Lamp with focus on Peter Sam. Side note, the reason why I haven't explained about the characters of Thomas and Brent and their personalities it's because they keep on changing each episode, and they seem pretty forgetful. They learn a lesson at the end of one episode, and then, only a few episodes after, they do the exact same mistake. I can't give any examples now, but if you were to watch an entire season and note down what each character did in that episode, you'd get an idea of what I mean. Now, you will notice that this season has a hybrid animation style. What I mean is that the engine's faces, the humans, and the animals are all done with CGI, whereas the live-action sets and models are still used. It seems rather distracting to me. I'd say that Hitch should either use the models in full or go full CGI, which they did. But back to the story. Peter Sam wants to get his jobs for the day done quickly so he can hear famous storyteller Miss Mary Marvel, non-DC related, and a character who will never appear again in Thomas and Friends, tell a story about Proteus. To get his jobs done early, Peter Sam takes a shortcut that he happens to know and trust, and coincidentally bumps into something he doesn't know about, in this case a neglected statue of Proteus. He decides to take it along with him and keep it hidden until the ceremony in the afternoon, because famous storytellers automatically get a ceremony. But he doesn't go far before running into trouble. Due to the heavy weight of the statue, he is unable to break and crashes into some buffers. When some other engines arrive, he realises his mistake and explains to them about the statue. After being re-railed, he decides to finish his jobs, and you've got to hear his next line. I know Miss Marvel's show has started, but all the other engines will be there to enjoy the statue. Wait, those are two separate ideas. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, he joins the other engines as Miss Marvel, again not comic related, finishes her story, but he is able to witness the unveiling of the statue. And there was much rejoicing. So, in a matter of maybe an hour, the statue was turned from rusty and near ruin to gleaming bronze. Because this episode has no sense of timing. Like last time, this episode is harmless. But like last time, it's too generic in its plot. A character finds something, character decides to keep it hidden. Then something happens and he decides to reveal it. Rinse and repeat. And as I said earlier, the hybrid nature of its animation is distracting. Next time we'll be entering the CGI series. The plots get even more stupid, the characters get even worse, and by that it becomes the most reviled things by the Thomas fans. So we're in for a treat next time. This is King William saying, hope to see you soon on another Throne Room Review.